Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best, I'm the champ, get me an opportunity, she gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she said. She has been sure, she has been confident, that is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. All smiles as she makes the walk here yet again. That was a total domination of Juliana Pena midway through 2022 to get her title back. 50 to 43, by the way, on one of those judges' scorecards. That's that's absolutely incredible. I mean, that is a seven-point scorecard. You don't see those very often in mixed martial arts, but I believe that that fight warranted yeah. that score, and it showed who Amanda Nunes is whenever she's firing on all cylinders. She can do it all. She's a fantastic grappler for Zayn Jitsu Black though. She has tremendous power and her striking look fantastic on that night. She's as good as they come and I cannot wait to see what she does in the octagon tonight. And she's not resting on her laurels, right? She left American top team. You see Roger Crawl among those in her corner, but at this stage of her career, she feels like she's getting better. That could be problematic for the opposition. the tape for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's who's the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Juliana, the Venezuelan, Dixon Pena. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. Well, you knew somehow, someway, somewhere we would arrive at this third meeting between Amanda Nunes and Juliana Pena. As such, we are sold out tonight. Second meeting, not very good for the Venezuelan Vixen. How do you think she adjusts here tonight? She's got to adjust to the southpaw. It was like she had never seen it. Oh! Oh! All right, so just as her corner said in our final meeting, she was going to close the distance and try to get the clinch early. Mission accomplished. Now we'll see how her opponent can respond. I wonder how hard she's going to go to try to get this to the ground now. Because we don't know how comfortable she is in the clinch. Let's see the approach that she takes as the fight goes on. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Now the two separate from the clinch. Right to the single collar. She was able to close the distance, and now she's in her position. Just out of range with that right hook. Man, these women are not wasting any time, and both realizing a lot of success offensively. Early. It's a great fight. It looks like it belongs in a video game. Oh! Now we're going. Beautiful. Now 
Nice pass. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. Oh, Pena's back in full guard. Nice shot lands from the bottom. Just over three minutes to go, round one. All right, so Nunez is back in half guard. Very comfortable here. Side control now. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Another strike gets through from the top position. Pena's in half court. All right, nice transition into full guard. If you're the top fighter, where do you go from here? Try to posture up, get some big ground and pound off, which will lead to you passing the half guard. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nunes. Attempt getting an arm bar here. Oh, that's tight. Wow, looked like the arm might end the fight. Instead, she gets out. It was over, and that's so discouraging for the opponent to survive something like that. Hats off to this young lady in her submission defense. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Full side control now. Oh, Pena's in half court. Oh, what a strike from her there out of that bottom position. She is offense all the time. She's stepping over the mount here. Nice positional control here. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Another strike lands from the top. All right, she's got the full mount here, DC. It's hard for me to remember a time in which you were fully mounted in the UFC. I have never been full mounted. I hope to never be full mounted. And this young lady now finds herself in this position. In this position, what's very key is that she cannot panic. She's got to go and attack the hips, create some space, shrimp off to a side, free slide in that half guard so that then now she's a little bit safer. Once you're in half, take your underhook, get back to your feet, or fully recover full guard. Pena's able to transition back to side control now. That's really good defensive awareness by the opposition. She's not going to get submitted here. Stuff here with the ground and pound by Pena. Five minutes in the books. All right, so a standing ovation from this capacity crowd after that round. A huge knockdown there in the middle of the round. Got to have her feeling pretty good here as she goes to the stool. Back and forth up to that point. But she eventually found the shot that put her opponent on her backside. But how about the toughness of oh. the opponent to get up off the floor and finish that round Let's see how she approaches the next round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC Chief among it, the big knockdown courtesy of that punch. A big knockdown off of that punch. She was flowing, letting everything go, and then she sat Good down fight. on that strike Great. that put her opponent down. Good. It looked like the fight was over, but we do go forward. Fighter Lindsay, nasty kick. Oh, she got inside and right to the single power tie. Takedown defense is there. Straight right is there. 
She's starting to put together some significant... Oh, they're probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effective. Oh! Just missed with the left there. She's got phenomenal reflexes. Nunez gets the takedown. Useful. Nice pass. Oh, Pena's back in full guard now. All right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landing. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. Oh, right into Mount. Man, these ground strikes by her are really starting to take their toll. Nunez gets up and is back on her feet. Very nice. Nice loop of punch. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, she has not responded well since getting knocked down by her opponent earlier in the round, and she's clearly losing this fight. She's losing this fight. She looks defeated. She looks deflated. How is her corner going to get her back into the fight? What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent finishing. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Constantly a moving target. Just over two minutes now to go on the round. Pena's in half guard now. Arm triangle attempt by her here. Arm triangle. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Good job by the champ there. Good work. Sliding back up. Nunez gets back up. Uppercut to the head. All right, so a storyline developing. You see Is that a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. These women are absolute warriors. What a fight. Oh, doing a real nice job with these leg kicks here. And already you have seen her opponent has slowed down considerably. That certainly bears watching as this fight moves forward. defense as she gets out. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhooked, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that eye area. It doesn't look great. It's never good to get cut, but right now it's a small one. You don't have to worry about it, but you got to protect it. Seconds winding down in round two. with a cheap cut. Two rounds in the books. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so there it is, the end of the round. Somehow she survives and advances after getting knocked down with a big punch there in that round. She's tough. 
she's durable, but she cannot continue to take strikes like this. She needs to move her head on the center line. She cannot be a stationary target if she has any desire to win this fight. Ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, on. here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. So she lands, and she lands very effectively. That one landed clean. Nice land with the punch by her there. A oh, hook to the head by Nunes. Can you believe she is able to keep up this output just as she did in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes here and not slowing down whatsoever? She looks like she could go oh. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Good right hand for Pena now. Straight, everything is perfect. Everything perfect. Every strike, every kick, every punch. Everything is just perfect. Get it, jump. This is tight. Oh, she's out. Oh, Pena's trying for the Kimura submission here. Ooh, that looks tight. Pena's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Oh, great ground strike by her there, and she opened up her opponent now. Well, she'll ground you, and she will pound you. These strikes are really starting to add up. They're starting to add up because now she's more willing to take chances knowing that she can land. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Pena. Well, she's staying busy, continuing to land ground strikes. There's another one. Nicely done. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Attempting a choke now. Oh, she's got the Dorse choke now. Oh, how good is that as she gets out? She is so aware on the ground, and she escapes a deep submission attempt. Well, I think if I was a fighter, I'd probably be a headhunter, but she is not that, right? She's invested in the body, and she's done some pretty significant damage to her opponent. Absolutely. You know, you start to go there, and you land something, and you may think, wow, that was hard. Your opponent doesn't really respond. But as you start to pile them up on them, you start to see exactly what we're seeing right now. And now she can start to capitalize on that. Two minutes to go. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running a guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Oh, huge ground strike there. I can see the cut man's actually getting excited. All right, right into side control now. We'll see if she can dole out some damage. A lot of fighters would prefer the half guard. She does pretty good work here, though. She does great work in the half guard. She's very brutal. She's very heavy with her top half. So she doesn't worry about the opponent escaping. And this side control is very good for her because she wants to wear on you. She wants you to try to carry all attack and arm bar. Oh, she's got the arm tight. She's got it isolated. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. She's got her back now. Mm, that was nice. Oh, good defense, yes. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. 
Well, we're not close to a stoppage, but every time that area in the eye gets hit, it's getting bloodier by the minute. Yeah, it gets bloodier by the minute, and you start to worry because you can only take these types of shots for so long before it gets to a point where you're just in very, very big danger. And now she's in mode. Final seconds here. Nunez is in half guard. Oh, All right, three oh. rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, back to the stools we go. She has absorbed a lot of damaging strikes in this fight. We'll see if she can recover. She didn't do a good job of moving her head. She was a stationary target, and she paid for it. Her opponent recognized that the target was stationary, and she went all out trying to land big shots, and she opened up a nasty cut. You ready to fight? Ready. Go we on. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. So here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. She's walking now. She's her back. Pretty good recovery by her opponent after being stopped. We see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, the opponent's back in the fight and can potentially win. Especially with this opponent. This opponent's so dangerous all the time. It does not matter that she hurt her before. She's going to have to close the door if she gets her hurt again. Man, every time her opponent lands, that cut's getting worse. The cut gets worse and worse. She needs to move her head or she's going to find herself in a lot of danger. Kenya's got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily investment is going to pay dividends later in the fight. They continue to exchange. Oh, gorgeous straight punch there shortly after she catches the leg. So she has got her opponent's timing down to a T right now. Swing and a miss by Kenya. Oh, and she gets the takedown there and really made it look easy on her. She made it look easy because she timed it perfectly. Before her opponent could react, she was already in the finishing mode. All right, full guard here for the bottom fighter. Trying to prevent the half guard, I would say. Yes, absolutely. Trying to keep her in full guard. Throw up some submissions to get back to your feet. Oh, Pena's in half guard. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. All right, so now as the cut continues to get worse, it appears as though it's starting to affect her a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to affect her. You can see it. She, she's reaching for it. She's pawing at it. She's trying to understand where the blood is coming from. She has got to stay locked in if she wants to win this fight. Pena's back in side control. All right, so no surprise to see her continuing to attack that area. That cut is going to get wider with every passing moment of the fight. You know, generally you expect it to get worse. When you're fighting someone like her, you know it's going to get worse because she's as sharp and as crisp as any striker you ever step in the octagon with. So she's going to be on that cut and attacking that cut relentlessly. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, unable to do so. Nice denial by the bottom fight. Great recognition in the grappling transitions. Way to maintain that guard. Side now. That's a powerful strike for bottom position. And very effective with the ground and pound. Man, she is really going at that cut with her ground strikes. That's getting worse by the minute. Nice transition. 
All right, so after a great back and forth engagement on the ground, the fighters get back to their feet, and the crowd really showing their support for these two women. The crowd goes crazy because they appreciate the high-level grappling that these two women just exhibited for them. All right, so she attacks the body yet again, and now you really see those bruises, Daniel, starting to accumulate. Well, she did everything to do that, and she was able to stay the course. Even when something got blocked, even if something got defended, she never changed the way that she attacked. It's beautiful to watch a person. This is big. That's big. here inside this arena an absolutely crazy flush knockout and there's going to be no wiping that smile off her face tonight she's going to be smiling all the way to the bank after a knockout like that what a performance what a knockout unbelievable Let's get to the official decision here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of round number four. To claim the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Amanda Lioness of the Ring. Nunes. I mean, that was just insane. We look to our left, see the re see the reaction from Dana White and Hunter Campbell. Amanda Nunes by knockout. Don't need no judges more often than not when she fights. Most times, that is the case when it comes to the Lioness. She does it. She goes out there and she dominates. And once again, she shows that the power that she possesses is second to none.